All right, everyone, Cody here. So I'm at my property in Nevada, and on the property is a dry stream channel, which only occasionally has water, like when we have a big storm and it floods, the water will run down this spot right here. Now at the very bottom of the channel, you can see there's a dark streak, and that's what today's video is gonna be about. So this dark streak is iron 23 oxide, otherwise known as magnetite. And it's heavier than the other minerals in the area, so it collects right at the very bottom of the stream channel. It weathers out of the rocks in the area. So this is a volcanic rock. It's very high in iron. In fact, you can see a magnet sticks to the rock. But the magnetite particles that come out of the rock are what's magnetic. You can see I can pick them up with a magnet pretty easily. In fact, if I wanted a bunch of this stuff, which I do because it's a great oxidizer for thermite. I could just come over here and run a magnet along the ground and pick it up. But this is very time consuming, especially because it picks up a lot of dirt along with the magnetite. So I have to take it off the magnet, you know, spread it out and pick it back up to purify it multiple times. And well, that's what I started doing. But over time, I've become much better at it. And Today's video is going to be showing you the process of getting as much of this material as fast as possible. At least what I've come up with so far. I find that the fastest and easiest way to get the iron is just use a shovel and scrape the dark streak up, put it in the bucket, just like that. Now, of course, I do get a lot of dirt doing it this way, but a magnet wouldn't get the iron that's buried. See this dark streak that's down here? That's from a previous storm. The sand and gravel that I produce as a byproduct I'm just going to be putting on the ground here. I wanted to put gravel down anyway because of the clay. When it gets wet, it's super muddy. 